All oh. the cheese. If you love cheese, you're gonna love Rosati's. Different like holds on the pizza. I'm eating all the pieces. Mm. <laughs> it's like what you do with a little kid. Here it comes. Silence from the peanut gallery. Stop. No, you're not, you can't use that. We are headed to Rosetti's, an amazing pizza place. It's my favorite pizza, uh, double dough. And today we're gonna be talking about two types of dough, the dough that's going in my mouth and the dough that can be in your pocket. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Kevin. Pizza's almost ready. My mouth is watering. I know, my stomach's already growling. Who likes pizza more, me or you? Me. I seriously, N I'll fight you over that one. No, the, I'm the- The greatest combination I think on the planet right now is pizza and beer. Mm, I just I just want pizza. I love their double dough. It's <laughs> so good, it's so thick. This is torture, right? Yes, I, I, did you see me? I'm like, I wanna open it. it, it <laughs> <laughs> the 10 minute drive home is torture. It, it smells so good. Well, like I just, I want a piece. <laughs> Start the feast. I'm gonna be good. I'm like she a little kid. is losing it. I didn't eat a lot for breakfast. Oh, here we go. Oh, it smells so good. Yummy, we have the pizza. Rosetti's Chicago Pizza, keeping it real since 1964. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, I'm so hungry. So I did not open it yet. Last time we got this, I had trouble opening the box because they really keep it. <gasps> oh. Look at all that cheese. Oh, looks so good. Look at all that melted cheese. That's a lot of cheese. Now this one's different. Uh, last time we got the monster pizza, but this is, it's supposed to be double dough pepperoni supreme. So it has green peppers, pepperoni, onions, cheese, sauce, I think, and mushrooms. Mushrooms, because I, I love mushrooms. Mm. Oh. oh, it's really, really hot. Oh, it's so good. I like to fold my pizza, like in Jersey. Mmm. I take it you spent some time in Jersey? Mm-hmm. My dad lived in New Jersey. So my parents got divorced and um, my brother and I would spend like summers on the East Coast with him, Jersey. He lived in Massachusetts, kind of all over the place. Um, but yeah, there was some fun, wild teen Jersey summers. Mm, but it, it oh, I just, I love pizza, any kind of pizza. You never know, but it's, it's still really, really good. Mmm. Mmm. This is pepperoni. We have some green pepper. Onion and a lot of cheese. I feel like they doubled up on the cheese and not the dough. That's what I think happened here. But I'm so hungry. It's so good. Mmm. Mmm. Come here, financial guru. Mmm. I'll even give you a plate. This is hard to, to sit here and smell this beautiful pizza. It's my, I don't know if it's my favorite pizza, but one of my favorites. Mmm. You this like it? The perfect. But isn't it a little different than the monster double dough we got? It's not the, the, the other one was really 
big dough. Mm. This has less toppings on it. It is a little thinner, but that's okay. I don't think they did the double dough. This is the perfect hangover for But you would rather have dough in your pocket than in your mouth. Can I have both? Yes. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. You don't fold your pizza. You mm. do like a half fold. Well, you, you have a good form with your pizza. When it comes to pizza and finance, I am a professional. Look at I eat mine like a pita sandwich. Mmm. <laughs> Don't know mm. how nationwide they are, Rosati's, but if you have... I, a, there's many locations, I'm pretty sure. If you have a Rosati's in your area, give them a shot. We live in Arizona, in the West Valley. I think it's the West Valley. And it's, <laughs> it's so good. I've never had it before until recently. It's really, really good. Mm. We should thank our son-in-law. This is his favorite pizza. He's well, a pizza guru. And a professional drinker. Silence from the peanut gallery? Stop! No, you're not, you can't use that. Mmm. Mmm. Mine's a little bit drippy. Sorry about your problems. <laughs> but it's so good. You have to eat the right speed. Because you don't want to lose anything. The only thing I'm missing right now mm. is a Coke Zero. That's my favorite drink with with pizza. That sounds so well, good. I think Whoa! I can, help. I, think I can help you with that. Thank you. This is a big. This is a good sound in our house. Well, we hear it a lot. Very good. Mm. Okay, one, one last Perfect. thing. We need a rating for this pizza. Okay. So, very good pizza. If you ever have a chance to try Rosetti's, I, I definitely would. I am gonna go with an 8.0, which I usually go high, um, because I don't think they did the double dough. Or maybe that's Whoa. just, but maybe that's just with the monster. I have to learn. Yeah, I'm gonna go with an 8.0. Mm -hmm. Look at that. All oh. the cheese. If you love cheese, you're gonna love Rosati's. I'm eating all the pieces. Mm -hmm. Well, this one I didn't fold. I'm noticing I have different like holds on the pizza. Technique. Yeah, technique. I liked your technique. You kind of had it like, I can't even do it like this. This must be the distinguished financial guru hold <laughs> of a pizza. This is definitely East Coast, Jersey Shore pizza hole. Mm -hmm. Delicious. You know what I like about it too? Is it not, I don't like when pizza has too much sauce. I know Kevin likes a lot of sauce. I like a little less sauce um, so you can taste everything else and not just the sauce. So that's another reason why I like this pizza. Mm. Look at this one. It's not cut fairly portions. Look at that. Mm. It's like what you do with a little kid. Here it comes. I'm so excited. Mm. I love the onion. I don't like onions all the time because you know you don't want to get bad breath, but in pizza, I love onions. Look at mushroom. Mmm, so look at that. Mushroom. 
mushrooms, onion. Oh, it's so delicious. Mmm. Mm. That was a full mushroom. Do I have sauce on my face? It's so good, you guys. The onions, and then it's not overly cooked, so the onions and the green pepper are crunchy. There's tons of pepperoni. They have a really good vegetarian pizza if you're a vegetarian. Tons of options. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm getting messy. Mm -hmm. You can't focus. I know, of the of the and I'm, seriously, I'm shaking because I'm so hungry. <laughs> mm. This is good. The only thing is uh, I'm a little disappointed about the double dough, but. So that's what happens when you don't invest. You don't have double dough. Yeah. I want to talk a little bit about investing and just fine financial. Honestly, I get like over time, I get, especially when I was young, like a D. If you were going to give me a grade, maybe even fail at times. But I've learned so much. Um, just you can learn so much on the Internet. And also through my better half, Kevin, has taught me to be more responsible and just with a little bit of effort, it can really snowball over the years. The dough. dough. The dough in the pizza. Dough in the pizza. But there's no... Yeah, there's dough there and dough in your pocket. <laughs> dough in the pizza and dough in your pocket. And it's really, you know, I know it's so hard. You, you know, I get money and I'm just like, ooh, I want to go crazy, but... You know, you do have to plan because things happen in life. Anything could happen. Your car breaks down, you know, things with your family and you, you know, have to help or just anyone gets sick. So it's always good to, to have a, a cushion, not only like a regular savings, but what most important is investing. Think about like how much you might spend on like coffees, whether it's Starbucks or Dutch Bros or anything like that, it can really add up, especially if you're going like every day or maybe every few days in a month. I did some research. So on NerdWallet, you use a calculator. If you invest just $100 a month, you just find $100 of my kryptonite. Is that what it would be called? Something bad, but like say shopping on Amazon. That's kryptonite, yeah. Yeah. If you cut that down, you're gonna, you are gonna find extra money. So at 21 years old, if you take an initial deposit of $100 and you're consistent and you, you put that into a Roth IRA. Monthly. Monthly, $100, and you're consistent, in 40 years when you're retiring, you will have over $670,000. Say you get a raise or you know, you find more money, like subscriptions that you're not using because we live in a subscription-based world. It just can all add up. So if you can cut out just a few, you can add more money. And so you're gonna even double your dough, which I was supposed to get double dough. Okay, so I read something today, and I've actually seen it with another YouTube talking about it. It's the Starbucks challenge. So if you spend five dollars a day at Starbucks and you cut that out, you're, you'll you'll save one hundred and fifty dollars a month. If you invest that one hundred and fifty a month in a Roth IRA, and you're twenty twenty one years old, by the time you're sixty and retiring, you will be a millionaire by just cutting out that five dollars a day, and you invest that one hundred and fifty a month. You will be a millionaire by the time you're 60. But it takes, but you gotta start young. So there is many, many financial websites and platforms and companies, but I've always had a good experience with Fidelity. We have, I should say. That's what I recommend to all my friends and family is Fidelity. And if you're just starting out and you're young, they have what's called Fidelity Go. That will get you started on setting you up for a good financial future. 
and just don't give up. Whatever you can do in a month, contribute. Just, just, just make sure you do it consistently. I'm going to eat this dough. Mm. It's so good. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this episode of Dough and Dough. <laughs> and I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. We need subscribers, subscribers. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> nice.